students i am going to discuss about compound assembly in this session shown here are two components this is one component this is another component on this component there are two bores bigger bore and smaller bore the smaller bore is having a size of 10.2 h8 and the bigger bore is having a size of 20.3 h8 and these two bore are coaxial to each other in order to control the eccentricity of the bigger bore with reference to the smaller bore a position tolerance is assigned with a value of t1 at mmc similarly other member this member is having two steps this soft number is having two steps the bigger step is having a size of 20 h6 uh, the smaller step is having a size of 10 h6 in order to control uh, the eccentricity of the bigger end with reference to the smaller end a position tolerance is assigned with a value of t2 so we have to find out the value of t2 and t1 such a way that assembly of these two parts is possible when you want to insert this soft number into the whole member the soft number has to enter into the whole member entirely so we have to find the value of t1 t2 such a way that the assembly of one member into the other member is taking place without having any difficulty so the equation to be satisfied is shown in this slide t1 plus t2 is equal to h1 plus h2 minus f1 plus f2 so what is h1 what is h2 so h1 is the mmc size of the bigger bore similarly h2 is the mmc size of the smaller bore f1 f2 f1 is the mmc size of the bigger end of the shaft f2 is the mmc size of the smaller end of the shaft so these sizes of all these four features are shown here uh, this is uh, the bigger uh, bore having a size of 20.3 h8 if you refer to the data book the tolerance can be found as plus 0.0 plus 0.33 so the mmc size of the bigger bore is 20.3 similarly the mmc size of the smaller bore is 10.2 similarly the mmc size of the bigger end of the shaft is 20 so because 20 h6 having a tolerance value of minus 0.0 minus 0.03 so the mmc size of the shaft number is the biggest size i think uh, here 20 is the biggest size so mmc size of the bigger end of the shaft is 20 similarly mmc size of the smaller end of the shaft is 10 substituting these values in this equation we can find the value of t1 and t2 so the h1 is 20.3 h2 is 10.2 and f1 and f2 are the mmc size of the two uh, end of the shaft 20 and 10 when you substitute uh, the t1 plus t2 value comes to 0.5 so t1 plus t2 put together should not exceed 0.5 as per this equation so this 0.5 can be allocated equally uh, like t1 equal to 0.25 t2 equal to 0.5 or it can be allocated unequally t1 can be given as 0.3 and t2 can be assigned with 0.2 some of the t1 and t2 should not exceed 0.5 so if you assign the t1 t2 value such a way that the sum is exceeding 0.5 what will happen the assembly will not take place as shown in this figure so here uh, when the t1 t2 value putting to that exceed 0.5 uh, the shaft will not go inside the hole uh, completely the smaller end of the shaft can go uh, with respect to the smaller end of the bore but the bigger end of the shaft okay is having interference uh, with the bigger bore so it is not able to be inserted completely so the t1 t2 value should be allocated okay such a way that it is sat satisfying the uh, given equation so this is called compound assembly or it can also be called as uh, the assembly of uh, two parts having coaxial features so this is having coaxial feature one end is having coaxial with the other end similarly uh, this member is having two bore the bigger bore is coaxial with the smaller bore